Hello and welcome to the listeners of Akashwani Hyderabad. As the Union Cabinet, chaired by the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, approved the proposal Bio E3, in that connection we are having in our studio Dr. Jeet Tadu Sharma, Director NIAB, National Institute of Animal Biotechnology. Welcome to the Akashwani Hyderabad, Tadu Ji. Thank you very much, Madam, for having us uh, at Akashwani Studio. and also showing an interest on a very important policy duly approved by union cabinet on 24th of august the bio e3 policy which has been it's a department of biotechnologies policy yeah yeah this bio e3 policy aims to promote innovation and entrepreneurship in the biotechnology sector and in that case what will be the role and position of your organization ma'am thank you for that question uh, let me just elaborate it a bit so dpt has really been using one very important terminology which is said by omulankar and abelers and the bio e3 policy so three e's are economy environment as well as employment so bio based economy as we understand the whole uh, word it revolves around the biology so biological sciences include both plant based as well as animal based department of biotechnology has 15 total institutes which include plant based institute specific team based institute as well as animal biotechnology so the institute which is housed at hyderabad national institute of animal biotechnology it is at gachibowli and it's one of the unique institution of this country which works on animal biotechnology so this bio e3 policy in our sector would be playing a tremendously crucial and critical role yeah taru ji uh, what do you think are the main objectives of the bio e3 policy so major the objectives is of course the larger one remains nation building and development through biological sciences but dpd was very clear that we all wanted to really go for the sustainability through the sectorial interventions via promoting research and development in biotechnology areas and that to at a pilot scale right so for that what exactly was done the whole bio manufacturing or what we are saying this particular policy bio e3 it was decided and divided into six verticals Hmm. so if i can just name those verticals and then maybe i can pick one of them onto which my institute will play a very significant that role hmm. so the six verticals are bio based chemicals and enzymes that is for greener energy greener reactions the other one is functional foods and smart proteins wherein i will detail out the third one is precision biotherapeutics one is climate change for resilient agriculture if you say how do you make earth happy so you do it through agriculture and another one is to recover to propose that is a carbon capture and biomass utilization and there is a very very futuristic vertical which is you know you have to de- you have to dive deep in an infinity so to you so that you can make a futuristic space research program maritime program uh, people go to space you know everybody needs uh, protein and uh, everybody needs many other things so that's a futuristic goal for sure these are the major objectives and the vision which uh, dbt has and uh, union cabinet has absorbed it in all affirmation and has approved it yeah What opportunities or challenges do you foresee arising from the policy, Taruji? Uh, well, I will just put it differently. I see this policy as a half glass full, wherein enormous ideas, if you can generate and allow the youngers of this country, not only youngers of this country, tap the researchers, students in tier two and tier three cities as well. Why so? because this policy not only is linked with the research and development it is also linked to create enormous you know opportunities in employment right yeah. so it is a very very important thing the department is also planning to have specific bio manufacturing hubs 
you know in the and the proximity will be where where we have the biomass resources uh, and sources uh, so i see that there is enormous opportunity which are linked with it whenever you think something big and a question is bigger through the biological sciences research uh, sometimes it appears uh, whether it is doable or not but i as i said that i see it very positively when i was doing phd way back in 85 86 i could never think and dream that one day we'll have mrna or dna and vaccine which are based on that right yeah. so we used to think dna is something which stays in the nucleus and it sends out mrna and so on but today it's a reality right so someone thought about it and that's how it could happen so this is a thought and it's a well designed thought yeah. of last one one and a half years yeah 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 Yes, a very well said, uh, Taruji. As uh, the Taj Mahal was uh, also built in the mind first, and then it could materialize in the <laughs> real world. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. How do you think the policy will impact innovations and uh, entrepreneurship in the biotechnology sector? Oh, great question. Yeah. Actually, you know, I will just start it little differently. As I said a while ago, DBT is clearly thinking about. Uh, setting up of our bio parks or biological parks and bio manufacturing hubs and country has really witnessed this is the youngest science ministry of the country however one important arm which is birec which has lot of spin off startups and all so those are the ones youth or not so younger people who have started it and it's a very successful model so when it comes on employment it's not only the a scientist will be selected it will be the model is that if you have the doctoral students who are either looking to go away abroad or you know settle down for a job so how many jobs you create how many jobs government will create why not you know we can dig our own thing and bask in the glory of that which are the spin off of the biological research outputs and that is how the industry friendly and as i said birec which is a true true successful model majority of us in our dbt institutions have the incubation facility like i also have wherein companies incubate with us they collaborate with us so we encourage our students also if they really like to be housed for example at niab within the hyderabad it's university of hyderabad our other institutes uh, some of the different ministry institute and so is niab dbt institute gives that opportunity to move in that direction so they can have a spin off for the startups so it's a industry academia collaboration and for sure the thought process is very clear and transparent on in this bio e3 and that is how the bio economy the circular economy or the environment third e is employment so surely it has been seen in a bigger umbrella that without the industry partnership the story cannot be ended in a complete cycle very well explained ma'am uh, we will come to the your suggestions and recommendations for this bio e3 policy we would like to know that uh, is there any additional support and mechanism or resource that you think it would be helpful for implementing this policy yes i think the number one is a government uh, support in other ways i am sure that government is supporting and that is why it has approved the bio e3 policy and another thing which i see which a while ago we were talking the industria academia robust collaboration countries thinking and moving in a wider direction to be a global leader not only in the space and other area but also in the biological sciences so having said so i would like to put it on record that anrf which is a newer arm of the research funding way of government of india is clearly doing that where is in a government and industry one so the point here is my suggestion and i think that's the thought also the wisdom also the joint research projects and joint fellowship so nothing is good if you are in silos and our yeah. institute is very clear that whichever area we work we are not working in silos either we are working with the partners 
within the ministry across the ministry within the nation outside the nation with industry with the startups and so on and so forth so i see it with this way yeah thank you for taking out the time taruji and uh, our listeners might have very much enlightened and educated with your uh, shared experience and your thoughts on the bio e3 policy your feedback is very valuable to us and we will be back to you in the future endeavors of biotechnology sectors in recent years thank you so much thank you with Suman. connecting thank you, us thank you akashwani hyderabad and i be really will look forward for further interactions and uh, before i say bye to you and i be hyderabad is really excited to move on uh, in sync with the program which has been announced i appreciate your questions and i hope that uh, it will be enjoyed i'll be able to answer and get connected in future bye bye yes bye bye ma'am thank you so much thank you so much thank bye. you so much with connecting us